Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at how to move emails from a certain domain name to a specified folder in Outlook. Now, this can be very useful if you want to send emails from a certain domain name to a uh, specified folder in your Outlook um, software. So let's take a look at how we can do this. You can also do this for certain types of junk as well. If you want to control and sift through this sort of stuff, you can do, or you could just remove them uh, into another folder, depending on what you do. So let's take a look here at this one here. So I want to move this to a block list here. So I'll show you how to do that first. So the the main name has got links in here that I don't want to click on. So what you can do is right click on here and you can say uh, junk here and then block sender. If I block sender, this will block just the sender on its own. So if I want to move these into a folder, say, I want to keep all these emails, I can move them to a certain folder. So when I click OK here, I'm going to just click OK and this will be blocked and that person will not be able to send me emails ever again. But what about if we want to block this domain name or send it to a certain folder? We can do that. You can see this uh, centrum.cz uh, really bombards me. So I'm going to right click and go junk and then email uh, options here. If we go into here, you'll see on the uh, blocked senders, you'll see that person I just blocked here is on the list here. You can literally physically add in a blocked area here. So for instance, if I wanted to add a domain name in here, just literally put the domain name, which you can see here, which is the centrum.cz. Uh, so if I put that in there, just like so, and then click OK here, it's going to block all of those emails. OK, so now I've got that domain name added into my block section here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go through my whole inbox and literally move all of these from my inbox into a uh, designated folder in my Outlook area here so I can clean this inbox up and move out any sort of persistent junk from here, which I might have missed. So go up to File. When we click on File here, you should see rules and alerts. Click on this one and then we want to go to new rule. Under the rules wizard here, we want to create a start from a blank rule, which is down on the bottom here. So let's click on at the start from a blank rule here. So apply a rule on messages I receive. So select this one here. Once we've got that selected, we can go down to the next button. So let's click on the next button here. Now we need to click with specific words in sender's address. So let's select this one here, this, this option here. So put the check mark in there and we can move on. So down the bottom, you should see step two, which is uh, the uh, specific words here from the sender's address. Click on this one and we can now add in our domain names that we want to move over to a particular folder. So let's go over to uh, the domain names that I want to move here. These are all in my inbox and I want it to search my inbox and move all of these to a certain folder. So click on add and we've now added those in. You can always add more of these in a later date. So if you've been bombarded by a load of these, you can add them in here and move them straight to the junk folder if you wanted to, or you can basically uh, move them to a folder of your choice, which may be a, a certain client that you've missed and you want to add them to their own folder. So add all these in, like so. I've got a bunch of them here from this .cz, and I should have been deleting these as they come in, but you know, you get busy, you haven't got time. But once you set up this rules, it takes care of it all for you. So let's go ahead and uh, click OK here. And once we've got this done, you should see them down on the bottom here, uh, listed out here from the sender's address. So what I'm going to do is click Next here, once we click next, you should see some options here. So we can move it to a specified folder. So this is, means that it's going to move all of these e emails to a specified folder. We can even select delete it. So it will move them to the folder and then delete them. This is a really powerful tool to use, which means it will move everything from my uh, inbox to a folder and then delete them. I personally would rather look at them first and then delete them. Uh, manually myself but you can permanently delete them as well which means it will t uh, just delete them from the outlook altogether so your options 
uh, may vary. You can choose this to whatever you like here. I'm going to leave the delete option off and move on to this option down here where we can now choose a folder of our choice. So let me click on this one here and we can now put a folder in here. So we need to create a new folder or we can just drop them straight into our junk box if they are junk emails. If they're not junk emails, then uh, you can create a new folder called whatever you like and put them into that folder. So let's go ahead and uh, put a folder inside here. So let's go ahead and put another folder in here. We can call it spam, whatever we like here. Um, it will go in the junk email and delete if you want to. So it's a bit pointless putting a spam folder inside the junk folder. I'm just showing you basically what you can do. So now we're moving the emails into this location, uh, into the spam area inside your junk uh, folder here. But if it was keeper emails, you could put them in a separate uh, folder. You can call them whatever you like. So let me cancel here and select another folder. I'm not going to put them in there. I was just showing you you can put them wherever you like. So I'm going to click my email address and click new and then call this folder spam and it will literally click OK and put a folder right down here. And that's where I want to put it. So now click OK. So now we can click on next because we've got that set. And now we need to click next again. We don't need to check mark any of this stuff here, but you can have a look through there. I don't need to select any of this. And now we should be finishing our rule setup. You can see the domain names here. I'm going to run this rule now on the messages already in my inbox. It will then search my whole inbox and basically move them to that spam folder. So all of these domain names uh, that I've selected will be moved into that folder. So it will go searching through there and it will weed out any sort of emails that you don't want from that particular sender or from that domain name from that sender. And it's a great way of controlling what's in your inbox already if it's just got a little bit messy like my one. Now it does take a long time, so I've speeded this process up. But once that is done, uh, we should be good to go here. So what I want to do here now is finish this off so I can click OK and uh, we should be OK. So let's go ahead and uh, click OK here and move on to the next step, which we can check that folder that I created there. So I'm going to click OK here and we can now go back to our inbox. So let's go back to our inbox and we can check our spam folder and you can see it's found a bunch of uh, emails here. Now these could be important emails. You don't have to create just a spam folder. They could be emails that you want to keep, say from a certain company, and it will move those to your specified folder that you create. So it'll go through all of your inbox and pull them all out and you can organize your inbox uh, like this. It really is easy to do. So all of these are just to, hey, hi, uh, people that don't know who I am, and they're just basically spamming my inbox. So now I'm going to have these all moving into this area automatically, and I'll just empty it. So it doesn't really matter to me. They're getting blocked, and now I'm going to clean out my inbox. And this is the easiest way uh, to deal with uh, spam from these particular domain names. So if you've got a particular uh, sender that's been bombarding your inbox and you haven't had a chance to clean it out, you can clean it out this way. Or maybe you just want to weed out certain emails from a certain company and put them in their own designated folder. You can do that as well. Now you might be saying, how do I edit it? Well, you can go back to rules and alerts and you can see it right here. This is the one we created. You can either delete it if you want to, if you don't need it anymore, or you can change the rule. You can right click and edit the rule settings. So you can go back in here and we can now make changes to this rule uh, depending on what we want to do. If we want to add more domain names uh, to this, we can do. So for instance, right here, we can add more of these domain names. So let me go back and I'll show you how to do that right here to add more uh, domain names in here. So I'm going to click on this one here. And then all we need to do is add the domain names in here that you want to add to the list. So let's go ahead and add another one just to show you. And there you go. And that will add all of those in there and they can go next finish this off and then it will run the uh, check again on your inbox and remove all of those emails to that spam folder or the folder that you specified uh, on your setup for that rule so very simple and easy to do on how to move emails from certain domain names to a specified folder in outlook so i hope this video has been some sort of use to you if it has then you can always head over to my channel and check out some of my other videos i have over 2500 videos on this channel all about technology on how to build computers, 
how to fix things, how to remove viruses, all sorts of videos. Also, while you're there, you might as well hit the subscribe button and hit the bell and hit the all button to be notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you want to help me and support me a little bit more, you can hit the join button to join my YouTube members group. It costs $4.99 a month. You can cancel at any time. You get a loyalty badge and you also get some uh, extra emojis and you also get some extra privileges and perks on my Discord server. Your name will also be added to the end credits of each of my videos, just like these awesome people here that have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.